Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name is Tom with Mastercode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at the sum build-in function. What the sum build-in function does is it takes a data structure type, like a list, a tuple, a set, a range, if you will. Um, but I know at this point in our tutorials, we haven't learned about data structures yet, and we're almost there. But uh, I felt that sum went with the... Um, numeric tutorial area so we're going to get and take a look at this so basically what it does is it takes a data structure that contains numbers all right and adds them together all right so let's take a look at this so you better understand it uh, i'm going to create a list a is equal to and we create a list of square brackets we're going to say uh one two three four and five there you go there's a list of five numbers and then all I'm gonna do is call sum and pass a in there uh, and we get 15 so what it did was added up all these numbers 1 and 2 is 3 3 and 3 is 6 6 and 4 is 10 and 10 and 5 is 15 so there you go we added up the numbers um, <clears throat> now sum has another uh, feature to it it takes a second argument which is optional is where do we want to start counting at so let's get and take a look at that let's go ahead and keep the same list up here we're going to say the sum of oops of a in we're going to say start at five all right hit return and we get 20 all right so basically we started at five and then we started counting or iterating over basically is what it's doing is iterating over the values in the list and adding them together so it started at five and it got 20 all right let's take a look at an example with a tuple real quick a is equal to and a tuple is like this all right instead of square brackets it's the parentheses and we're just going to go ahead and say one let's do different numbers 10 20 30 40 and 50 all right so now let's do sum of a like this and we get 150 all right <clears throat> We could also do uh, sum with range. So we do sum and we do range and do 1 through 10. So it's going to return uh, numbers 1 through 10 to us and we get 45. Uh, also, we can call it on a set if we wanted to. We can do sum and what a set is, is it's a data structure that it only takes one uh, object of the same thing. So we can't put two threes in there or two fours or whatever. So that's what a set is. We'll all, we'll see this in the future tutorial, hit return and we get 15. So there you go. There's a sum build in function in Python. If you have any questions, please let me know over at mastercode.online. Otherwise I'll see you in the next tutorial.